it's Kawaii Sloth. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am renovating this place here. I've already forgot the name of it. <laughs> um, the Inner Circle lot. I did the renovation in mind for my sim here, Heather. She has a slight backstory of a being a child actress. So she's just moved out of home for the first time and bought this place and she's done it up. So with that, why don't we jump into the speed build? And this is literally the tenth time I've done this voiceover. Oh my god, I'm so over it. I did this um, video about two weeks ago. So I don't even remember the build myself, so we're going to find out together. Um, but per usual, we will start the build off by cutting it and I did expand the veranda. Um, I did really like the idea of like this little sunroom thing you walk into, so I decided to keep that. Plus the privacy and all that fun stuff. <laughs> but yeah, like, I have had so much trouble with this recording. I finished one and it was absolutely horrendous, so let's do this again. Um, I remember I rebuilt this kitchen. Like, I didn't like how the original product looked after I built it. Because I was originally going for like a starter home for a high wealth starter sim, I guess. But like I said, I had a backstory for the sim and she was a child star, so she still has money. So we were going to do a budget, but that went very, very quickly. And I love Dulcel Valley a lot. It's like one of my favorite worlds. <sighs> but um, there isn't enough lots. Um, yeah, this is where I change up the kitchen because I like this blue and white theme and I decided to keep it more blue and white. But yeah, anyway, Dulce Valley, it has the commercial area, it has the high wealth mansions, and then it has, uh, your starting area, I guess is the best way to put it. But there's no, like, mid area, like, B-list celebrity, B-list celebrity area so it's a bit annoying but I guess you know if you want to role play you can still role play like you know I usually move my sims out to San Maishino for a little bit once they're like between three star and four star celebrity and then I move them back to Del Sol Valley for the mansion when they hit five star but that's only because I feel like I can pull off being this mid-level mid -level celebrity better there. Anyway, I really loved how this kitchen came out. Like, when I had the black and white theme, it didn't look as nice, I reckon. So, uh, I'm so happy that I changed it up. And yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded for like a week. I've been sick. Like, I got really sick. <laughs> like, my cold got really bad. And then the day I got better from a cold, I got food poisoning. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's been my last few days. It hasn't been very nice. And you know, over the weekend I try and do an extra upload or whatever, but I had a party. It wasn't like a big gathering, it was literally five people there, which is legal. And we kept our distance, but yeah, it was just, yeah, it, I haven't, we haven't been going great lately physically and life's just been busy. But hopefully I'll be back to my normal upload schedule now. Um, but yeah, I decided to keep the same tiles for the bathroom and the laundry. Like, I really like those tiles and I need to use them more. I'm going to use them more. Lord, am I going to use them more. <laughs> but yeah, like, this is literally the 10th time I've gone to do this recording. The first time I was so sick. I was pretty much just making noises. You couldn't even understand what I was saying. And then my computer keeps crashing and <laughs> nothing has gone right for this recording. And I'm over it. I, I almost gave up. But I didn't. And here we are. Anyway, we've um, just moving on to the rest of the house from the kitchen. I did the floor plan, as you saw. It's only going to be one bedroom because Heather lives alone with a cat. And that cat is her baby. But, um, yeah... <laughs> I kind of had a bit of trouble furnishing this room, like it's super simple, but you know me, I gotta have my wardrobe for Woohoo. 
so I had to make that fit in the rest of the house between the laundry space and everything. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the bin I chose for the outside. I know that sounds weird, but it looks like a composter next to those gardeners and I thought that looked so cute. Like, I want an actual composter for my sims. I guess the bugs count, but I don't like using that bug compost thing from Eco Living. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little too picky. Anyway, what I do in this little corner, this is horrendous, and we'll go back to that soon. But now I do this really cute, like, the kitchen, sorry, not the kitchen, <laughs> the living, dining, living area slash entrance hall was huge. So I decided to do this open plan sort of study area in the corner. I love it. It looks adorable. And this kind of smallish living area because Heather doesn't have many friends. <laughs> Like, she grew up a child star, so she learnt very quickly not to trust anyone. So she doesn't really have any friends, like, it's literally just her and her cat. If I remember correctly, I named the cat Ragdoll because it's um, a ragdoll cat. No, it was Raggedy Ann, the little redhead doll. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, here, here is horrendous. Like, I wanted something fancy to, like, symbolise that she has money. <laughs> And honestly, I should have just kept that sculpture and did nothing more. But oh no, we decided to add a plant. Uh, I don't, I hate this looking back. You might like it, but me personally, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> so you're more than welcome to take that out if you use this build. Me? <laughs> I, I, in my personal build, I actually changed it back to the statue. Um, but yeah, I hate myself for it now. Including that little roof piece which ends up going when I redo the roof, but you'll see that soon. <laughs> but yeah, I just had a little trouble finishing it because I did not leave much room for walking around. I play tested it, you can move around this lot, no problem, there's no interference. It's all playable, so if you want to move your celebrity thing in here, you're more than welcome to, and it will all work. Um, hmm. <laughs> I haven't uploaded Heather to the gallery, but I can do that if you want Heather on the gallery. Because I really love Heather, she was random wheelchair. This kid, not this kitchen, this laundry, <laughs> I had a bit of trouble because it was such a small space trying to fit cabinets in there. Because I feel like most laundries have cabinets. I made it work in the end. I just got rid of the uh, dryer. <coughs> Hello, Hanzo. By the way, Babe, I know you watch my videos. I want a dryer for Christmas. I repeat, a dryer for Christmas. Thank you very much. And now I can't put my mic back down because Hanzo's chilling with me. Thank you, buddy. But yeah, I decided to like, the backyard is massive. Like, it is a massive backyard. So I decided to break it into two halves. You have a entertaining area for your backyard and you have a private sort of this is where my laundry goes and where my bins would go in real life so your guests don't see it and yes I did play with the train tools I'm sorry it didn't turn out that great it doesn't look that great in the second but I make it look good I promise <laughs> because I thought like I use a lot of flat lots and that's getting really old really quick <laughs> and yes you get your woohoo bush I'm getting my face licked by my cat. Please stop, Hanzo. Enough. Hanzo, down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hanzo likes to be involved in everything I do. By the way, if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, 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 you can. I post pictures of Hanzo up there. So you can just, just go like pictures of my cat. Because he is a good boy. He is best boy. Anyway, um, but yeah, I just decided to like fill out this yard as much as I could with um <laughs> gardening stuff. Like, I, I don't know what else to do here because it's just a massive lot. I could have made the house bigger, but I didn't want to. It's just that simple. I didn't want to make the house bigger. And I made this random foliage like at the side of my bedroom window. And here we go with the roofing. And I'm sorry, this is painful to watch. We all know by now, kawaii sloths don't do good roofs. Because <laughs> I really want to keep that little tiny sunlight for the plant I did. But yeah, that went real quick and I gave up on it and... 
I don't know how that plant's going to grow now, but you know, <laughs> the magic of the Sims. Uh, I know, I just, I hate roofs. I hate roofing. I love my cat. He just knocked everything off my chair. But yeah, I'm just, I love how this house came out in the end though, minus that one little detail. But you know what? You can take it out. It's a Sims. It takes two seconds. Chuck a sculpture there instead. <laughs> I wish I had done that. I really wish I had done that. <laughs> and yes, I love that window from Eco Living for like most of my kitchens now because I can have that above my um sink and it looks good. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing the last little bits here. We do a little bit to the front yard with like rocks, like a little rock garden, I guess you could put it as. I don't know. I didn't know what to put there, so I just made a little rock garden. <laughs> Hanzo seems to like the rock garden. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little laggy in game for some reason. I don't know why, so I had to save. But you should always save your games. I have lost so many builds to forgetting to save. Oh, so much time I have lost from forgetting to save. Anyway, um, I would say this is the end of the video, but I go back and add one more thing because I'm a little silly. As I was writing this down, I'm like, oh, I forgot a barbecue. Anyway, that is pretty much the end of the build. Um... Don't forget to subscribe and like the video because that helps me get some more views and it helps me put up more content. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. I can't wait to leave this town.